okay so hello everyone welcome to my channel asp.net core and uh, this is for you how to improve ef core performance that is the past topic for you i know uh, the first one is use agar loading you know that a uh, lazy loading have a n plus 1 problem so whenever possible prefer agar loading over lazy loading to avoid n plus 1 problem and reduce the number of round trip to the database so use this types of include keyword and uh, this uh, as taught courses now uh, in the context with the student uh, have a student courses so use include instead of uh, virtual so that is use agar loading now the uh, the second is use projections use projections to select only the columns you need from the database reducing the amount of transferred data so only the selected column you want to get from the database that is the projection so here we have a query where projected students context.students dot select and the selected students is new student id and the first name dot to list now the next one is use as not tracking that the third when you only need to read data and don't need to update it use as not tracking to bypass the change tracker and reduce memory uses so here we go for as not tracking if you want to get only read only data the next one is the batch queries and updates batch queries and updates i mean to say that optimize large insert and update and delete operation by batching them reducing the number of database round trips you can use libraries like efcore.bulk extensions for bulk operations context.bulk insert that is students context.bulk update context.bulk delete that is the batch queries and updates now the fifth is optimizing indexing proper indexing is crucial for query performance analyze your query and ensure that the columns used in joins where clause and order by clause are indexed now the sixth one is disable automatic detect changes disable automatic detect changes when doing bulk operation to improve performance so disable automatic changes uh, when doing bulk operation to improve performance so here we have context dot change tracker to auto detect changes enabled equals false when you have bulk operations now the seventh is use compiled queries that's the most important topic for you compiled queries compiled queries is actually uh, used in memory sql data so so that you can uh, you can overload of your database so for queries that are executed frequently consider using compiled queries to avoid the cost of compiling the queries every time it is executed the next one is optimizing data models use data types efficiently normalize database structures and review relationships having optimizing data models can if significantly impact the performance of CRUD operations the number 9 is pagination you skip and take for pagination to avoid loading larger set of data when only a subset is needed so that type of thing you can do in your code number 10 connection resiliency enable connection resiliency to allow ef core to retry failed database commands which is particularly important in cloud environments where transient failure are common so option builder dot enable try on failure that is to do uh, connection resiliency now number 11 use raw sql for complex queries for complex queries that are not easily translated by the ef core consider using raw sql or sort procedure to leverage the full power of sql so that type of things you can do in your code by using from sql raw by using the from sql raw you can just use sql queries in your entity framework core number 12 is caching cache result for expensive or frequently accessed queries to avoid hitting the database unnecessarily number 13 avoid select n plus 1 problem 
As mentioned previously, avoid the select n plus 1 problem by properly use dagger, explicit or lazy loading based on use cases. Number 14 is review generated SQL. Regularly review the SQL generated by EF Core to identify any inefficiencies and optimize as necessary. Number 15 use latest EF Core versions. Regularly update to latest version of EF Core to benefit from the performance, improvements and optimizations made by the EF Core team. So that's our, uh, you can say it's a uh, core building of your uh, performance to improve your query optimizations. Thank you very much for watching. And the last one is use database views. For complex read only queries, consider using database views to offload the computation to the database. So that's final. Thank you very much for watching.